Imagine a colossal creature, a giant of the sea, whose life has come to an end. As it sinks slowly to the ocean's floor, it becomes something more than just a dead whale. It transforms into a lifeline, a new ecosystem in the pitch black depths of the ocean. But who are the creatures waiting for this feast on the sea floor? How do they survive on decomposing matter? thriving on what seems like scraps of death. Let's dive into this bizarre underworld where death fuels life and skeletons become living homes. The whale carcass on the seafloor doesn't go unnoticed for long. In come the first wave of scavengers, hagfish, giant isopods, and amphipods. These creatures swarm around, tearing apart the soft tissues and feasting on flesh and fat. For the first few days, the carcass is a bustling hub of life. But once the soft tissue is gone, only the bones remain. And that's where the true bone-eating creatures, the Osidax worms, also known as zombie worms, come into play. But what are these creatures, and how do they turn bones into their food? When the whale's soft tissue is nearly gone, the feast is far from over. Now a new set of creatures arrives, the Osidax worms, also known as zombie worms. These bizarre worms are unlike any other they survive by burrowing into bones and extracting nutrients directly from them. Without a mouth or stomach, they use bacteria in their bodies to digest the bones. These bone eaters turn the whale's remains into their own twisted garden, sprouting like red flowers on the skeleton. But how did such a strange creature evolve? The whale carcass has now transformed into a bustling ecosystem. The zombie worms have attracted other smaller organisms, and the surrounding seafloor is teeming with life. Microbes feed on the nutrients released by the worms, which in turn attract small crustaceans and other tiny creatures. The cycle of life continues, built upon death and decay. But how long will this ecosystem last? And what happens when all that remains is dust?